Speaking of, <laughs> yeah. you just talked about it earlier. Yeah, yeah. You got your quarterback rankings right. coming up. So right. I mentioned New England. We yeah. know we know Drake May wasn't high on the on the <laughs> uh come incoming rookie quarterback <laughs> list, but just break down how do you for one, how do you kind of get into this yeah. when you're breaking down quarterbacks? You're doing a right. top 40 for one. That sounds like a lot of film watching and a lot of time dedicated to watching these quarterbacks. So how do you kind of go through this process? Get them all on a piece of paper, right? That's how it started. Every mm-hmm. quarterback in the NFL, I start to cancel guys out, right? Like, oh, he's no way is he in the 40, yeah, right? Yeah. I usually get down to a point where I go, okay, now I got to start to whittle it down. And I go, damn, I got 49 guys for the 40 here. Mm-hmm. That I, I'm like, oh, crap, who am I going to cut off? That's where the film starts, right? Mm-hmm. It's some of these. The bottom part usually is some of the hardest, hardest stuff. Things. Who's in and who's because out? Because 35 might be a backup quarterback that you go, damn, he's mm-hmm. good. Like, he just doesn't get to play and he's a mm-hmm. backup. And he's better than team – uh, starter, starter yep. who I'm going to put at 29 mm-hmm. or I want to put at 29 and then they got I got to go back and watch preseason because maybe the guy didn't even mm-hmm. play last year mm-hmm. where I go back from two years ago and go oh he played three games let me just write a few notes about what he did and what mm-hmm. I liked about him then that is usually like one of the hardest parts one of the cooler things I'm seeing this year though about what I like too and it and it's all nitpicky, right? It, it's very nitpicky, and that's the worst part about it. Like, you know, I'll get done with 10 through 20 and go, okay, this is good. Now let me watch some film, and I'll go, oh, gosh, you know, 14 <laughs> better than 12. I can't do that. Let me switch, switch that and do that and get into that. What I've got into this year, though, is, and I think you would agree with this, the top 10-ish for the most part, is not really that debatable right mm-hmm. now in the NFL. You yeah. might debate the order, order but yeah, but those the names are themselves guys. are the ones at the top right now. Where there was a few years where I was like, "Holy crap!" The like top it. ten. Mm-hmm. There's 17 top ten mm-hmm. quarterbacks, right? You know, you got towards the end of the Brady Roethlisberger yeah. and all that. I'd be like, "Oh gosh!" I mean, Brent, 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 Penn's so good. Yep. This guy, you know. And then there's the young guys, mm-hmm. and then the young guys, of course, always become the tough thing as well mm-hmm. because. Yeah, like last year. I mean, I put, you know, C.J. Shroud and Anthony Richardson in there, and of course, right? And a lot of the times I look back at it and go, you know, I had Mahomes in my top 40, and he didn't even play his first year. I should have moved him up higher. Like, and when I go back after the year, C.J. Stroud last year, I was like – Last year we talked about Jordan Love. Of You were like, I wanted to put Jordan Love higher, but I – I kept going back and forth, and then I, I didn't, but I really knew. I knew. Yeah. I just chickened out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh, you know, I just, okay, wait, evidence-based. I don't have enough yet mm-hmm. to really back up my claims, even though I felt it from what I saw and all that. Those are the toughest ones. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, like last year with C.J. Stroud, I get back, I get during the year, and, you know, I always every year go, wait, these rookies, How right, some I of these top that? ones – Ah, and that year gets over and I go, you know, I wish I would have followed my gut or instinct and put them at 22 or 23, even though they hadn't played in the NFL mm-hmm. and everybody gets on me on social media and goes, how could you put a guy that you've never <laughs> seen in the NFL above this guy? And it's like, well, I've been around it for a while. It's not like I'm just throwing a dart, mm-hmm. but those are the ones that I struggle with. And that's like this year, it'll be tough because I think Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels are a real deal holy field, mm. right? And I think J.J. McCarthy really fits Minnesota in that offense and O'Connell, yep. right? So those are ones where I go, I could see them having all rookie success. Mm-hmm. They know how to play quarterback. They're not just talents, right, and all that. And so that'll be my my struggles here is how, the next few days. How does that play yeah. a part when you rank these guys of right. the actual system they're in? Like, do you, do you watch some guys who right. you're like, I love their talent, I love what they do? But eh, I don't know the weapons, the system. How, how much does that play a part? Big time. Yeah. I try to play it like we're all in the same system. Okay. We all have the same talent, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to sit there and go, oh, my gosh, look at the three-foot throw Tua made and Tyreek ran for 87 yards. And we go, well, <laughs> that moves Tua up seven rankings. I mean, that's unbelievable. Honestly, and again, I know this is going to look like or feel like a shot at two or not, but no, I think a lot of quarterbacks in football would have gone to Miami and led the Mm -hmm. league in passing yards if they played Miami. That's not a shot on him. That's just what I feel, but that's part of the balancing Mm -hmm. act of going, wait, what's around him? What should we expect? Right. A lot of the years I've come away with Dak Prescott because people always get on me on that. And I go, I go back and watch the film and I go, damn, the offense stinks. They're not as talented as people think at receiver. Mm-hmm. They don't help him a whole lot. He makes a lot happen yes, with not yeah. a lot there. Mm-hmm. And I give that credit. 
yeah. or big throws with p- pocket like collapsing, and oh. he still makes a big throw down the football field. And yeah, the degree of difficulty's up there, and sometimes the normal fan doesn't realize it. So I try to balance that as best I can. That sounds really it's torture. Really tough. It's yeah. torture to be able, especially because whether you're right or wrong. The people that are going to read this have such a passion for their team or their quarterback that it doesn't matter. You can stay a clean fact of, hey, this guy's done this, this guy's done that. Right. You can pull up PFF. You can pull up all these analytical things that people who have never played a game can still – and no matter what, they'll be like, he's just a hater. Yeah, he doesn't he's like him. He's wrong. Right. All that's going to be t- – you know, I, I try to block that noise yep. out. And just like you do with anything else, mm-hmm. it's like we've been around people. We've we've seen a lot of these great p- players at these positions, and you've been taught by people. And I just always go back to that, and I lean on that. And then I try to remind myself every now and then that, hey, Joe the Plumber's never seen an NFL quarterback in person <laughs> in his life, and i got to remember I like Joe the Plumber, but I can't let him ruin my day because he's called me an idiot about my quarterback ranking. So I try to do that. Uh, Kaminsky had a question for me. Oh, uh, injuries. Here's injuries. Mm. Does that play? a part of it a little bit like let's just go to the top like listen we know Mahomes is one okay Uh that's just in all right okay now you get to like the Josh Allen Burrow Uh right and that and that Lamar Jackson and Lamar Jackson Uh right and I've docked Lamar when he got hurt two years in a row a little bit like hey availability is an ability right yeah, those are things yeah, that I definitely I will agree. struggle with here. Mm-hmm. Allen doesn't get hurt ever. Burrow gets hurt all the time. Yeah. Burrow's awesome. You can certainly make the case that Burrow might be better than Allen. Mm-hmm. I get that, right? But at the same time, I'm going, damn, a- Allen running quarterback power and putting his head down every game, and he's still, still there. available and playing. And so those are things that are get that'll get tough there in that spot. Yeah. And I'm not even I don't even have it figured out yet. Yeah. There. So yeah. So because I don't have to do all that yeah. research, I'm just going off the top of my head. And yeah, let me hear it. You, me you hear already it. mentioned Patty Mahomes. Yeah, that's one. Um, and everyone doesn't like it, but I think because I played against Josh Allen so many times, I'm just like you know, I'm, I'm a, I, I love his game, and I hated it. Yeah. You know, playing against him, I hated it. But I, I just always feel like playing against him. It was just like, man, we have this huge challenge. So I, for me, Josh Allen's that second guy, and I think the I, league and the fans. There's a disconnect of how Josh Allen's viewed a little bit. I was bit. just about, yep. Right? Mm-hmm. I didn't mean to cut you off, no, no, so no. go ahead. But, but there's, no, I, there's a fight there. I just don't hate that it. people will watch this guy play right. a great football right. game, right? right? They'll say, man, like this guy hasn't played well. That guy hasn't played well. You know, they couldn't get the running game going. And then he broke a run and then he did this. And then he'll have one play in the game and they'll be like, see, he's just a bad football player. He's a yeah. bad quarterback. And I'm like, but like, they wouldn't even be in this situation. Yeah, right, right. They're blown out if he didn't do yes. all the things he did already. Like, right. like we can't discredit yeah. that. And I get it. You want your quarterback to make all the clutch plays and the clutch moments and everything. I, I understand that fully. I played with Tom Brady for yeah. 10 years. I, yeah. I, I witnessed it. Yeah. But it was also that the games or the few games that if he didn't make the play or we got strip sacked or something like that, we didn't walk away and say, man, this guy. It was just like – this guy's phenomenal. Right. Just today wasn't our day. Right. You know, so for me, for me, Josh Allen is there. Um, for me, then I would go, I would go Lamar Jackson. Okay. Um, the only thing that the only thing that crushed me with Lamar Jackson last year was the playoff game. Yeah. I think I think it was the full offensive strategy. You led the league in in rushing attempts, and then in that game, you just didn't and it was just like you threw the ball way too much um so that that made me a little weary um and then filling out I would say my top five um I would go Joe Burrow coming yep. back yeah uh and then my fifth guy I think coming in this year that I fell in love with last year was Jordan Love yeah I think Jordan Love the way he played I think now coming off another year, seems like he has that itch to be great, right? When you have to right. follow behind Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers, right. there's no kind of I arrived moment because everything you've done, when you look up, you're like, shit, they did that. <laughs> they did better at that. Oh, they had to. So you're, you're, you're always comparing yourself against two of the greatest quarterbacks that have played and they're in your franchise. Yeah. So you see them every time you walk in the building, right. you see their pictures, you see their jersey. So I just feel like he's not going to have that kind of regression for a guy that, you know, 
got his – I mean, it's not his first year, but his first real snap starting week after week. Um, I think he grows upon that. I think he's even a better player this year. So. I, I don't doubt that. I, I mean, I, I love me some Jordan Love, mm-hmm. right? I mean, and, and I hear you there. I don't know if I'm going to go top five with mm-hmm. him, but, like, no doubt he he's is in that, that conversation, mm-hmm. right? You know, what gets interesting is you get right there, you start to get into, you know, Justin Herbert, yep. right? Trevor Lawrence a little bit, okay? Matthew Stafford into that conversation. Stafford's like what you mentioned earlier with Brady and those guys as they got older. Stafford doesn't get mentioned as often. But when, but when you, you turn on the film him, and watch yeah. it, oh, my gosh, how many great <laughs> throws and decisions can he make? Incredible, right? So we do forget about him. And 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 you forgot about <laughs> C.J. Stroud. I did. Yeah, right. So that's going to be another guy that's in that combo. But to yep. our point – but here's some of those names. I think the names are there. It's just about where they go it. and how yeah. I do it. I like your five, though. Because I'm, good. I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Herbert when you watch the talent level, what he can do. I, I just, I'm just i wondering, like, why is it not all together yet for yeah. this team? And right. I think now this year is a big year because, hey, with Brendan Staley, it was always questions of, all right, we went for it on fourth down. All right, this was a bad decision. Now you got Jim Harbaugh. You got a guy who – is certified. This is a really good football coach. He's won in college. He's won in the NFL. He's taken the team to the Super Bowl. He's won a national championship. So now it's like, all right, we got to go. And I just don't want to hear at the end of the season, well, Harborough's not really his fit because he likes running the ball. And I don't want to hear all that. Like no. This guy, Herbert's a guy. Yeah. Every talent, right. every tool you could want right. in a quarterback. Exactly. I think he has to be in the category where we're walking away from the season and we're yeah. like, this guy, this guy's like, he's right on Mahomes' yeah. butt. Like, yeah. He's coming. I, like I would, I would want to hear that from Herbert this year. I think I hear you there. I think he's got that type of talent. He probably, you know, hey, Harbaugh maybe can make him a better leader, a little more vocal. Yeah, than yep. That guy a little be bit. that guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I think you know, I could be one of those years where stats don't look as good, but, but quarterback he, quarterback play, play yep. is better. Team is better around mm-hmm. him. They play a more complimentary game, and we know with Harbaugh. For the first time in the Justin Herbert era, they should be able to run, run the, the ball, ball. Yep. right? Which, mm-hmm. and of course, him off a of play action with that laser he has should for be. an arm, yeah. right? One last thing before we move on to the next subject. Like, you talked about, like, the Josh Allen stuff, too. Mm-hmm. It, like, you know, people got to look at the rest of the team. You know, a lot of their losses last year, they w- Josh Allen walked off the field and they were winning the game. Yep. The, I checked the rule book. Let me just see. <laughs> oh, the defense is allowed to stop the other offense and help the Buffalo Bills win the game. I just you like you know what I love that. about that? Yeah. Uh, you know, when you play against these good offenses, right? right? We would come into the week and they're like, their offense has to just do a good job maintaining the ball, keeping the other offense off the field. And I remember we came in one time and <laughs> Bill goes, F- that. You play defense, you get paid. Go f- play defense. <laughs> like, that's what you're supposed to do. Go. Yeah, so right. don't tell me, like, hey, they lost because Josh Allen scored too fast. Yeah, so they, yeah, no, right, like, right, right. the defense, and this is any team, <laughs> when you play defense, there's no, like, we want the quarterback to do X, Y, and Z. No, like, we got to go. And that was some of our worst losses being on the Patriots when yeah. we played games in Philadelphia in the Super Bowl. Offense goes and does their job, and then we give up a touchdown going into the two minute drive. It's like, we lost the game. Like, yeah, right. Like, what else? Oh, you want him to get the ball back and then score again? Yeah, yeah, right. And make sure right. that there's only, right. you know, two Why seconds Why couldn't Brady left? throw a better Hail Mary? Yeah, yeah you right, know, right, so yeah, I right. agree with that. I, I, you can't – I just hate when we crush a player for having an outstanding game right. and being the reason, and then we say – Being the best player on the team, but we're going to blame him. Yeah, right. like, yeah. no, like yeah. this guy's a problem. People hate playing against him. Go to any defensive player. They do that's, not enjoy that's it. That's where I was Same trying thing to when say. you play Lamar Jackson. Exactly. Like, you don't enjoy – playing right, against right. you don't enjoy playing against Patrick Mahomes yeah he might not run you over or juke you out of you but San Francisco found out all right we kick a field goal in overtime all right yeah oh it's fourth and one all right yeah. we got oh they get yeah, the first yeah, down yeah, yeah. oh they right. get another play exactly. oh, next thing you know your biggest fear is oh you know we lost yeah, and yeah. I'm anxious to see does Aaron Rodgers still have, have that, that ability mm-hmm. because yeah. even my last year in 2022, we go to overtime with Green Bay. Green Bay wasn't that team. Like they were still trying to develop those young receivers. They hadn't even produced yet, really. Right. And we get the, we go uh, start overtime. They start with the ball. We get a stop. We get the ball back on offense. We punt. Yeah. And as defenses, as we're taking the field, as defenders were like, Ugh. 
We already stopped right. them once. I mean, can we do it again? Can we rally? Like, right. can we? And I, and I get it. People are like, oh, you can't think like that. No, like, we're all human. You yeah. do. Like, right. you're playing against a guy who historically, that's does what he does. This right. is what he does. Right. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm anxious to see that, man. Let's Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.